Hello everybody, and welcome back to Risk of Rain Modded. Uh, you may be confused as why we're starting on the logbook screen of the items, but that's because, as you could have seen with the thumbnail and title of the video, we're going to do an interesting challenge today. Today we're not going for a specific build, we're going to try and get one of every single item in the game. This is going to be difficult. Now, I did try this once off camera, and I got about, I got all of the white items, I got all of the green items, and I got about like a fourth of the way through the legendary items. Uh, and also, a quick disclaimer, I also got all the boss items. We will not be going for void items because of the way void, Im void items work. You cannot have every item if you also have void items. For example, if I pick up Lost Seer's lenses, I can't have the lens maker's glasses because you can only have one or the other in your inventory. So we won't be bothering with void items. Uh, and, uh, unless we get the void hatch, so yeah, then we will get that, and also the stirring soul, which does not infect any of your other void items. The vo newly hatched soya we will only grab if we have every other boss item, though. And also, we won't be dealing with looter items, because the <laughs> then the challenge will just be impossible. Uh, and we're not going to be dealing with equipment. I know I'm just cutting a lot of things out here, but you can't hold every equipment at once. You can only hold one, so, you know, you can't really have every single one. You may notice also that a lot of mine are locked out because I haven't unlocked them. We may try, th try this uh, challenge again in the future when I do have everything, but it's a lot, and each of these challenges takes like an hour to complete on its own. So I'm going to do those off camera, and maybe we'll try this again once I get everything. Anyways, uh, let's hop into the game to have my music back on during the uh, opening of the game, so it's gonna be kind of awkwardly silent. I might put in music for that intro, but for today's episode we will be playing the Engineer and we will be using my favorite modded item that I think I've ever seen, which if you'll stop for a second and read the <laughs> description of this specific turret substitute for uh for engineer special is the bft 9000 the big fucking turret 9000 <laughs> place a turret that inherits all of your items fires a giant fucking laser for 13,567.5 percent damage on a long cooldown you can only place one i played with this recently by god it's so fun to use it's so silly so that's what we're going to use. Um, and other than that, we are going to use the smart flask or the smart flak uh, primary fire because it's a lot better than the base game primary fire. I hope that in the next update to Risk of Rain 2, whenever Gearbox decides to update it, uh, they give Bandit or Bandit Engineer an alternate primary fire because this is easily easily the worst primary fire or at least the most clunky pri primary fire in the game uh and i don't think anybody likes it um we're running the spider turrets and the harpoon of course we always love those and what are my skins what's this one? Ooh, cool we'll use that one and for our difficulty we'll be playing on this new one that i got called thunderstorm which is a really nice balance that's between Rainstorm and Monsoon of the base game, which is exactly what I was looking for. Rainstorm is a little bit too easy at times, and Monsoon can be a little bit too hard to get like a genuine recording out of, as you can see in my last video where I lost twice playing it. So I found a new mod that gives me this. Um, this is probably the last time I'll update my mod folder. Uh, there are some more items, and there are some more... There's no more characters, but there are some more items, and there's some more artifacts. But other than that, this is probably the end of my updating my mod folder. So, you know, hopefully... Yeah, we'll, we'll stop moving on. I know this intro has been forever, so let's get into the game already. <laughs> I got my coffee. It's pretty good. We've got a funny, funny, silly story to start off our game today. And that is that yesterday, where I live, we had pretty pretty crazy snow. Or it was the day before that we had snow, so it was just like icy today, or the yesterday. What the? Did we just get an artifact? <laughs> okay, what? We're just gonna whatever. So the ground was super 
uh, you know, icy the other day, and I thought my car was pretty good. It has four-wheel drive. It's I'm, you know, I'm very lucky to have the car that I have. A lot of people talk about how their first car is terrible, but uh, this one is really, really quite good. But I got to find out the hard way <laughs> that my e-brake was not catching because I went, I started sliding down a hill <laughs> um, or, or sliding down a, like a down a hill on the street and I pressed my brake, obviously, and I it just go it started going <laughs> as I started going downhill. So I, after shitting myself, started I, I obviously pulled the e brake because that's what you're supposed to do there, and that barely worked. That barely saved me from rear-ending the poor old lady who was driving their fucking Kia whatever in front of me. So, you know. <laughs> Today, my car is in the dealership, needless to say, so that I can drive to school without being in mortal danger. I, th I thank god that I didn't find that out on like the highway going like 50 miles per hour. That would have been terrifying. <laughs> thank god I came back so I can play Risk of Rain modded. <laughs> Alright. So... That first item that we grabbed, called the 400 Tickets, is a unique item, uh, a modded item that gives the next chest you open double. It doesn't stack, so if you have two it doesn't give you like four items, that would be OP. Uh, it only gives you the amount, like, like it only gives you two per, per stack and then it depletes. So we're only going to be grabbing one of those. And we're just gonna go, I'll show you in the next command artifact, we're just gonna go from left to right reading order uh, when it comes to the order of items we're gonna grab, except uh, for the white items I might grab a Wii Fit board before anything else so that we can catch up in speed. Because we are pretty slow. Okay, guitarist, going ham. I can't, I can't do it again, I can't go through and be like, I can't go through another recording and be like, yeah, the soundtrack, because <laughs> it's all I talk about. I don't know what this is, by the way. It's one of the modded uh, drones that I got, but I don't know what it does. I'll have to find out off camera. Where are all of the chests, by the way? Are you going to show me where the chests are at? Hello? <laughs> There's like no chests anyway. Whatever. Time is not going to be our friend this episode. Alright, big fucking laser, <laughs> here it is. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, I should have tried to find a, uh, what's it called, a uh, trophy owner's tricorn so we could get our first boss item. Because those are going to be our friends for a while, but we're also going to want the either the skeleton key or the uh, whatever the other item is called, that um, uh, equipment is called that unlocks a chest for free for you. I want one of those. Because that'll make getting legendary chests in level 4 really easy. Hey, yo, laser, you want to shoot the boss maybe? That'd be really nice. Yeah, see? It lines up and then just shoots a really big laser. <laughs> and inherits all my items, which is nice. I got it inherited by Wii Fit Board. Oh. Okay, I guess I got an achievement. That was a mustache. <laughs> there you go. I don't know what the prerequisites for that achievement... Maybe it's like fight 20 enemies or more or something, but... God, this guy refuses to die. Maybe I should kill the little guys so that the big, the laser shoots at the boss. Maybe that's what I should do, because he keeps shooting at the wrong people. <laughs> I hate that. He wasn't at all lover. Big fight. I really hope they make an Alita Battle Angel Part Two. I'm gonna. Please don't kill me. Owie zowie. Uh, because I really like that movie. It really it was. It was a pretty you know, surprisingly decent action, like, sci-fi action movie. Uh, rarely do you see movies like those that are like, wow, I want to watch that again. Though, Christoph Waltz in that movie, I can't not see him as the Nazi from Inglorious Bastards. I can only see him as, like, like I can't, I can't not see him as that. So when he's playing a doctor, finally the laser shot him. 
uh, whenever he's playing that like wholesome da dad doctor figure, it's like, no, you're a Nazi. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, I think he won an Oscar for that position. Half of my viewers probably don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I'm edgy. I know obscure media. No. <laughs> Inglorious Bastard. It's like when somebody calls Queen like an underground band. God, the sun. That is the brightest laser ever. It's insane. I'm also going to grab a Hopu Feather early, but for now on, we're basically just going to grab one of every item in order of what it is. Also, fun trick that works in vanilla, if you wait until you start teleporting and then grab a Shrine of Blood, the money you get from the Blood Shrine carries over into the next episode, as you can see up here. As you can see right there. It carries up the next episode, the next level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this... this build, I don't even know if you can like legally call it a build, because it's not anything it's just everything <laughs> it's every single item um is honestly pretty strong if even though like none of the items if you have either no synergy or all of the synergy and i can't decide which one it is <laughs> with this i uh, i don't understand like what what it means like like what what is if i have every item is that a good build or a bad build <laughs> I guess it's all the best builds, but also all the worst builds, because all of the items that give bad synergy are also in there, so who knows. But we also like only get like 10% crit chance and stuff like that, so I don't know. It seems pretty good, because I, I lasted pretty long playing with this off-camera. Maybe I should just like leave my laser down, let him, let him do his crazy little laser thing. Yeah, it's so funny. Maybe I should have gone with the base turrets. They're probably better than the laser, even though the laser literally one-shots everything. Someone wants to do the math on what, like, 13,500% of 36 is, or 37, because ba our base damage is basically 37. That That's how much damage that laser's doing. Oh yes, okay, first really good green item, the Ancestral Incubator. I'll probably make a video of this where I just, like, let the parent it spawns every good- it really should be a legendary item, but what it is, is on kill you have like a 10% chance to spawn this big egg that after a while, if it survives, the enemies will attack it. After a while, if it survives, it turns into just like a parent ally that you get for free. Alright, free trivia on his tricon. Oh, okay, it, goddamn, music. It was really- it was celebrating me picking up that tricorn. <laughs> it was so happy for me. <laughs> Uh, uh, I can't, I can't comment on the soundtrack again. I always do. Every single episode. Yeah, there's the egg. There, that's what it looks like. With the, the ancestral pod. You know in the lore of the, uh... Of Risk of Rain. It's so confusing, by the way. If you ever want to really confuse yourself, search up the lore of Risk of Rain. The, the basic lore is pretty simple. The, the lore is basically you and a bunch of other soldiers are going on this, like, starship mission because Contact Light, a another, a, uh, another ship that was out in space before, came to this planet, Petrichor V, and, um, they, they just went missing, like, they, they, they stopped contacting, assumedly, the, the Earth. And you guys all go out to say, hey, where the hell is our friends? And you find out that this happens, but what's silly in the lore is, like, why is there chests here? Well, the plot of Risk of Rain 1 is that... This dude, Providence, I think his name is. I've never played the game, but I might in the future, because Risk of Rain Reloaded is coming out in the near future. Um, but the plot is that this guy, Providence, who's basically the Mithrix of that game, he's literally Mithrix's brother, goes onto your ship and kicks ass. He just kills everybody, <laughs> um, except for all of the survivors, who he, who you are sent down and you have to figure out a way to get out. So, it's it's a it's interesting. It's it's kind of crazy, and the way you get out is by defeating Mithrix, who's 
really kind of a weirdo in this story. He's t his whole thing is that he wants everything perfected. That's why the all the elites on the moon are called perfected elites. Uh, but you know, Providence is all like he's the he, Providence is the one who created. God, I sound fucking insane trying to talk about this. Providence is the one who created the. Uh, the Aurelianite, the the guy who's in the the green area that you use the shrine of gold to get to. But in order to get to him, oh, you, you gotta get through like a false. I it's so I dude. I I'll maybe I'll link the lore video I watched about this. But it's insane. It's so weird. It's so weird. It's the, like, I could barely catch on. It's not the most confusing lore. It's not like Five Nights at Freddy's or something. Confusing lore or some shit. Or like, I don't know, Dwarf Fortress type lore. But it's, it's confusing. I want to get as much money as I can here, because we're going to the blue portal and I'm going to need to pay for some legendary items. Let's hope I can do that. Please tell me I have enough money. Please. I beg you. I'm begging. Begging you. Okay, how much money is it? Please be enough. 960? There's no way this is going to give me enough money. But yeah, 700. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Truly a shame. Alright, well, green items will take us longer, so we'll just get as many green items as we can. And then one item, white item, because you can't get three green items. This is actually, this, I almost clicked on that twice. Uh, this area is incredibly balanced, I believe. It's really cool. What is that? I don't know, I can't tell. It's blending in with everything behind it. <laughs> Suggesting. Alright, what map are we going to? I want to go to the one with a guaranteed new portal, because that's what we need, baby. We need all the new portals. Oh, hello. For free? Thank you. That means I don't have to go all the way over there for the, uh, for the other thing. That's cool. I'm happy with that. Come here. You know what? Laser time. You guys are getting a laser. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! What the hell? What is, what is going on? The game is breaking. Big laser. Okay, something is wrong with my game. It just keeps spotting the laser. <laughs> stop. Okay, I had to press right click to stop it. That was weird. <laughs> I've never ran into that bug before. That was interesting. I was able to spawn infinite <laughs> BFTs 9000. That was kind of jarring, I think. <laughs> oh, wow. More for my collection. <laughs> my negative 2 billion lunar coins. <laughs> I love that that's bugged, but I can still use infinite lunar coins because of it. It's kind of funny. What item do I have is freezing? Oh yeah, my the aspect I picked up gives me two random elite aspects at the beginning of every stage that I don't even know what they are. One of them is fire. Right now I know that I have fire and ice cut, but that's only because of the effects I've been seeing. The the worst elite affix, however, is the f the uh, it's called like the affix of gold or something. Which, oh my god, it hurts to- like, I, I picked it up just because I wanted to get the logbook item for it, but oh my god, it's not bad in, uh, in, like, delivery sense, like, it's not a bad item, but the visual effect it puts on your character is so terrible because it just, like, flashes these gold bits on you, and I literally had a headache after playing with it because it was literally, like, seizure-inducing. It was awful. Oh yeah, there's our parent friend going ham. Kicking butt, taking names. Doing what he's paid to do. I love that. It's, a, it's not really a fair ability, to be honest. It's really not. <laughs> I love the laser. It's so good. Just exploding things around the corner for me for free. Really putting in the work. I want to see if I can find a equipment before we get into this boss fight. Catch, stinky, stinky guy. That's what you are. Owned. 
I like that I have two different bitter roots as well from two different mods, but they one just is just worse than the other. <laughs> one gives me regeneration on kill, and the other gives me just base regeneration. That's worse. It's so weird. There's a lot of items like that. Uh, there's two mysterious vials that both give me regeneration, but one gives me like two health regeneration, the other gives me like 0.8. It's funny. <laughs> the curse of having so many mods. There are mods where you can like blacklist items from showing up in case there's like duplicate mods like this, but uh, I don't know how to use it and I don't really want to learn because it's kind of funny opening the command item screen and seeing like every single item in front of you. <laughs> Maybe these guys will just give me an equipment, you know? You never know. That laser just killed the boss with one shot. It might be a little too strong. The only downside of the laser is that it shoots at like the closest enemy instead of the strongest enemy, which is not very good for me. Well, there was a boss there. God, that is so bright, my eyes. <laughs> Please, have mercy. Alright, I'm gonna kill everything. Why do I have so many parents? I only have one of these. <laughs> do they just all survive? This man... You do be looking. Who are they... F what are they trying to fight? I don't know. <laughs> they were trying to fight something. There was something there. I guess there was like a... A failed enemy or something? I don't know. I doubt I'll have enough money for a legendary here. Oop, I might also just jump off the fucking map. That would be funny. <laughs> okay, do I have enough? 2,000? I highly doubt I'll have enough. Ugh. Why must you curse me so? Ugh, for shame, Newt. For shame. It's fine. Every time we get here, we get three free items, so... It's the thought that counts. Get away from me! <laughs> Stop! I hate these guys. If I ever do it like a Risk of Rain enemies tier list, man, those guys are going low because I hate them. <laughs> They're annoying. They're not even like hard to fight in like a bad way. They're just like hard to fight because they suck. Same with the uh, blind pests on the other maps. Those guys sucks. The ones that like jump around at you and bite, try to bite you. There's something invisible there. I think. Maybe I'm crazy. Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? That guy just came in from the sky and died. These guys scare me. Have a laser. God, this is the brightest thing ever. <laughs> My eyes. Is this, is this lizard going to be lasered? Is this lizard going to be lasered? Hopefully, there he goes. Oh, nope, the laser's not shooting at him. He's shooting the wrong guy. Yeah, there he goes. There goes his health. Because I certainly wasn't doing any damage to him. <laughs> Come on, dude, please. <laughs> I'm begging you to just die already. Look how much health he has. Ugh. Have mercy, I beg you. Have mercy on my soul. <laughs> Elder Lemurian is scarier than any boss in this game. I'm telling ya. He's terrifying always. Please, oh, oh, how is he not dead? Look at his health bar! Okay, thank god. And he doesn't even give me an item because he's not a boss. Ugh. If I become old and gray, and I have like a bunch of inheritance money to give to people, but like... There's no one to give it to. I'm sending it to the soundtrack artist of this game. Chris did such a good job. It's, it's literally top five soundtracks of any games. It's insane. Maybe even top three. Like, it's so good. I don't even know what's better than this. It's just so... Ugh. Ugh. No words for it. I think this is talked about... Yeah, there's, a, there's a phrase for the, this type of build, I say with heavy quotation marks, called a little item build, and there's also big item builds, and the size is referencing how small the items get on the top of your screen. A little item build means you have a whole lot of items, a small item build means you only have like three or four. 
And I might do that. There's, that's a video idea I have for the future, is, uh... A... Items that are like, I randomly roll four items, or like an item from every rarity, and I'm only allowed to use those for a run. <laughs> I think that would be fun. I'm gonna drop my turret. Oh, please don't crash. Okay. That turret seems to really not like being placed down for some reason. Why are my frames going crazy? What the hell's happening? I ordered a really good computer. I don't know. I died. I just died. Uh, I don't know why my frames are so garbo. Maybe the maybe the turret's just really bad for my game. <laughs> Owie. Yeah, the soulless probes are terrifying. They will ruin your game sometimes. They're not even that scary, but like sometimes if you just don't pay attention to them, which I guess could be said for any any enemy. Uh, they will just laser you to death, and there's nothing you can do about it. Thank you, laser, for doing the damage I couldn't. I appreciate you. Ooh, two legendaries for free! 57 Leaf Clover isn't the best legendary item to start off on, but it will be very nice. And same with the Aegis. It's, like, not very good, but it's... In fact, a lot of people hate the Aegis. I don't necessarily agree. I, I'm I'm completely fine with the Aegis. It's, I think that's how it's pronounced. I think it's quite a good item. I, I like it a lot. Okay, and we're gonna get our item that we skipped. The Chrono Bobble. I miss it. It, it used to be... Chrono Bobble's another item that's like literally only good because the death mark exists as an item, <laughs> and you need that other... Uh, the Chrono Bobble makes it so that you get that extra debuff on the enemies. Though I have a mod that's like, uh, that reworks the death mark, so that's interesting. I'm gonna try to build up some money here before we go into the boss fight. Or I'm gonna look for the, uh, as we try to build up money, we're gonna look for a equipment barrel. There's one. For a uh, trophy and a tricorn. Because I want to run through the bosses as quickly as possible so that we can quickly get to getting free legendaries from the level 4 uh, maps. Unless we just get this map every now and then, we won't have to worry about it. We can also get two boss items from this map, given we can find two Trophy Hunters Tricorns, because you can kill the uh, Allied Warship unit with that. Oh, that's the beam for my... for the equipment that I just put down. Holy fucking shit! <laughs> Did my game just crash from... Okay, no, it didn't. Stop. <laughs> hey, my laundry's done. Fun fact. <laughs> this isn't even a horror game. <laughs> I just got jump scared by my laundry alarm. <sighs> Man, that was... <laughs> to think about that. That was insane. That was insane. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> Handle yourself, game. You can- you- I know you're good. Maybe it's the rain that's making my game lag right now. I might actually take a second here to, like, close YouTube or something, because I do have Chrome open- or not Chrome, Opera open in the background, so. Might close that. I might do that. In fact, fuck it, I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> Alright. Opera's closed. We should be good. Okay. I don't know if I'm confident that we have enough money here for the boss for the, uh... A legendary item in the... What's it called? The, uh... New portal. The Bizarre Between Time. But, uh... Hopefully. Hopefully we'll have enough. I mean, seeing how slow we're killing this enemy, I will have to drop a laser. Hopefully it doesn't, like, crash my game, yeah. I don't know why it slows down my game so much when I drop that thing. The mod, the mod maker should consider that. See if he can fix how weird that is. Thank you, laser, for doing all the damage that I couldn't. <laughs> I would have killed it eventually, but the laser really makes my life easier. Okay, are we done? Ooh, 
two boss items for free. Thank you. All right, let's get out of here. Hopefully, we'll have enough money. Hopefully. Yeah, we have three thousand dollars. The last one was like two thousand dollars. Please tell me we have enough for a legendary. Is there even not? There's not even a legendary crate. <laughs> Of course, the one time we have like a basically enough money. You have to stay alert to my texts because they're gonna text me and be like, hey, your car is done being fixed. And I have to be like, okay, fine, I'll come over. I'll come over like it's a fucking sleepover. <laughs> it was so weird. Uh, I Obviously, to drop your car off someplace, you need someone else to bring you there so you can go back home <laughs> because you can't can't drive yourself home if you don't have a car. Uh, so my mom and I took two different cars to get to the dealership and then drove home in her car. But as I was, we were waiting for like, where should I put my car to, you know, put it while we wait before they uh, fix it. Cause we put it off a day beforehand. Um, they, my mom went in and like, ask them and then I came in and gave them my keys after I was done parking and she, the lady had no clue who I was because I had I was not the person who was talking to her earlier I was not my mom so she was like no you have to make an appointment and I was like no my mom is already here <laughs> thank you I appreciate it but no <laughs> so there's little awkward moments in li life like that which makes me scared of the outdoors <laughs> I'm joking I'm not agoraphobic oh grandparent okay we find a uh, equipment, push maps, push maybe, and equipment. So we can kill that grandpa. Yeah, we can. Hell yeah. Uh, give me that. And give me that. I said, give me that. <laughs> Where's that grandparent? More like dead idiot. <laughs> Owned. <laughs> Jesse, that doesn't rhyme. Shut up. <laughs> Why do we have so much money? <laughs> Where did all that come from? <laughs> we're struggling to get even 2,000 past, past rounds, but now we're at $10,000. One million dollar. It's my boss item. Fire knows. I see it. Give me Genesis loop. Yeah, all that for a Genesis loop and no frame rate. That's funny. I say it's probably the laser that's fucking in my game. I don't know what it is, what's wrong with my game right now. Because I had this exact same mod pack playing yesterday and I had no issues. Uh, but... Whatever. It's not bad enough. If the game crashes, I will cry, but the game does... I do have a mod that saves my game, which is nice. I think it does, at least. <laughs> What is with my frames? The game isn't even that strong. Maybe it's the primary fire I'm using? Look at this. What the hell? Maybe my brain is just in slow motion or something. <laughs> That's always fun. Spending 10 billion dollars just for two white items. Hell yeah. I don't think that's normal, buddy. You are not meant for flight. Oh, I love this item. This is such a good idea. Whoever came up with this, uh, the defibrillator, it's, uh, you have a chance to critically heal, which do, gives you double healing whenever you, uh, whenever you heal, and I think that's such a cool idea. I, I certainly would have come up, wouldn't have come up with that. There's also a list of items that, what, the white item gives you, a, a wisp, the, uh, green item gives you a greater wisp, the legendary item gives you a lunar chimera, which is also a wisp. Fun fact, it's a perfected greater wisp made by Mithrix Incorporated. Not really, he's the, <laughs> he's not a brand. Uh, but... And then there's another one that gives you, like... Uh, and every time the, the wisps die, it gives you... The, the depleted item buffs every other future wisp you get. Which is super cool, super super cool. I love that. Ah yes, we have to get. This is the one time I'll ever pick up this this fork. The other fork is much better because it gives you uh, three plus three base damage, where this one just gives you plus two. I remember. Yeah, this one gives you plus three. <laughs> They're the same item, but one's just worse. So if I'm ever gonna blacklist any item, it's going to be that fork. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey. 
I guess I killed a Solus unit without even knowing it was here. Cool. <laughs> We're getting to that point where I'm just sort of killing things. Ah, uh, yeah, see, it gives me the fragile mask. The the mask gives me a, uh, a lesser wisp. That's that's what the mask is for. Hello, Solus Control Unit. It's cute that you decided to show up. I appreciate it, honestly. Yo, he gave me a boss item? Thank you. I didn't even kill him with a trophy under strike horn. Awesome. And because we have that green item that makes it makes me uh, able to use shrines twice, we get more items. Hell yeah. You you won't give me. You there's no way you'll give me a boss item as well, right? Ow, 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 oh god, I've run into this glitch before. Uh please don't let my hand game run. Okay, thank god. <laughs> If you get hit by the rock, there's like a glitch where you just get like infinite momentum and all you have all you have to do is hope that your double jump logs again and you're able to not just die. Ah, uh, that was scary. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. We've overstayed our welcome. We've got a billion items already. Just you wait, by the way. There's gonna be like five rows at the end of this game. We're only on like two and a half rows. It's it'll get crazier. There's so many items in this goddamn mod pack. I should have done this on vanilla just so it'd be easier. <laughs> Half of these items aren't really even doing anything, but, uh, you know. Ish, whatever. No, let me get the other item, please. Owie. You shot me. You actually shot me. Who's that from? Oh, that's from Paladins, right. I'm, I might go back to the game. I, that, that game did pretty well on my channel as well. I might go back to it. I don't know. I'm iffy about it because I've heard that Paladins isn't in the best state right now, and the queue times are long, and it's declining, and I think everyone sort of expected that over time, but at the same time, you know, I'm not happy about it. Whatever. I mean, I guess you can have everything, but... I really like that game. I, I grew up with it, so it's a shame that it's sort of dying. Maybe it's not dying, and I'm just crazy, though. Every time I walk off the wrong side, like I have the double jump. Hello. I know I can buy both of these. I know I can. Yeah, they're five thousand dollars. I've I got plenty of money. Okay, we get to get the ancient scepters. I've got two ancient scepters, which do literally exactly the same thing, but they randomly uh they randomly upgrade one of your abilities, and it's super cool. I think it actually. I don't think it's uh random. I think it does a selected one every time. I think it just upgrade. I think it goes from left uh, right to left. I think it goes E. M4, whatever those are. Yes, I use mouse buttons for these, uh, in case you ever noticed. Uh, but I think it. I think my turret just got upgraded. I don't know what it got, what got changed, but who knows? And then, of course, we're going to uh, grab the alien head. Wait, did it actually? Did I actually pick up the ancient scepter? Why do I have a skateboard? What? Did I not pick up the right thing? I don't think I did. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's awkward. Well, I mean, at least we didn't grab two of the same thing. I get what the shame. I'll show you later then, I guess. I guess nothing changed. Ah, oh, yeah, Bingus, the, the item. <laughs> it's it's not very good. What it does is it, uh, if you go below 20 health, one of the enemies within you will become enchanted and become your ally. Uh, and the reasoning is because Bingus is so cute, but personally, I think hairless cats are disgusting. Okay. Bingus is fine. Bingus can pass. He can, he can go. But the rest, the rest of them, why are you out of, oh, please don't laser me. Thank you. You lasering, lasering my friend. Don't do that. Don't laser people. Okay? Rules to live by. He's not even listening. See, he just goes to laser me. Don't ever make friends with people who laser you. You can, can you tell I'm going to college for therapy? <laughs> or for, to be a therapist? I, I, I don't know, maybe college makes me a better person. Maybe it is therapy. Who knows? <laughs> okay, our crit chance is actually quite high. I thought it was gonna be pretty low since we're only getting like one of every item. I'm not gonna pick up this. I'm gonna, I found out what these do. They give you a random item that you can't see until you pick it up. And it's not just any random item, it's like it's literally every item is in that pool, including Lunar Void, Legendary, everything is in that random item pool. And the last three times I've grabbed it, it's been a Looter item, though I, I've proved to myself that it's not only Looter items. Oh boy, this man ended my run last time. 
Please stay away from me. You scare me. Please. Please. I want none of your tomfoolery, sir. Nemesis command no. No thank you. Please. Just, just die. Okay, I forgot I could use my harpoon ability. I'm just so used to using my thing. Okay, thank god he died. This item will actually make us, you know, sort of get items way faster because it gives every every enemy we kill a 0.5 chance to give us an item. Uh, that's either green or red. I think we do have a very small chance of getting a white or a legendary item from it, but I've never seen that before, so I won't waste my life off of it. Yeah, see, oh! As I say that, it gives me a legendary. This game is rigged, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, we're actually gonna grab the inches. Yeah, I accidentally grabbed the skateboard. That's funny. Okay, we're actually gonna grab the scepter. Did it? It didn't. It's not giving me a scepter. It's act, it's giving me a random item. It just gave me permafrost. That's so strange. Maybe I need to reread it. Maybe it doesn't say that. I know the other one upgrades my abilities, but uh, I maybe I'll have to reread it once it uh, once I find it. Because it's clearly not doing what I thought it did. Finally, our first money earning item. Life savings, which gives you... It lies, it actually doesn't give you $1. It generates less below, below 3 stacks. It only gives you $1 per second at 3 stacks, but... You know. What gave me so much money, by the way, last round? It's kind of crazy that I don't have... Yeah, like, have nearly as much money as I had last round. Alright. I couldn't get a... Couldn't get a boss item giver, but uh, whatever. All right, let's see it, pal. I'm purposely not putting my laser down, by the way, because I think we can pretty easily handle ourselves in these future levels. See how like quickly we're killing things. Get down from there, Misty. Why, Iota? All right, did we get a boss item at least? No, we didn't. Man. This game hate me for real. This game's also good for learning what every single item in this mod pack does if you want to pause every time I pick up an item and read what it does on the middle. Though, some of them are going to be cut out, unfortunately, because this game, this challenge requires this episode to be very long, <laughs> so we're going to uh, have to slow down between, between, you know, whenever, so we can actually talk. And have time, and and have the video not be significantly more than an hour long. <laughs> Please be enough. Thank God. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this ancient scepter. Okay, well, let me read this. While held, one of your character selects becomes more powerful at versions. Extra unusable pickups will re-roll re into other red items. That okay. So I guess it's just unusable on this. Because it's trying to upgrade my E ability, which is a modded ability, and there's nothing there for it. So picking this up will assumedly give me a random red item? Maybe? No, it, it gave me a normal red item. I don't know what it upgraded, but assumedly my laser. The mystery continues. Who knows? Who knows what it could mean? We shall forever wonder. This might be a part one and part two video, honestly because I just checked the recording, it's already an, almost an hour long. <laughs> and we're not even like halfway through the green items. So, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna deal with that. There's also another item I could pick up. There is a void item I could pick up, but I did tell myself I would not pick up void, uh, void items. Uh, the, that item, it changes all the 400 tickets I pick up, which makes it so that 7.5 times more or sorry, 7.5% more interactables spawn on the map. And we will need that if we want to get that. I, I played a, map, a game where I just picked up like 10 of those and it's insane. You get so many items so quickly. <laughs> Maybe we'll pick that up after we get every white item. After we get every white item, we can be like, okay, now, because then what are we going to get, you know, since we have every white item? Um, we can get those. And besides, the 400 tickets don't do anything after you pick them up and use them because they, you know, deplete your... They deplete after you use them. What a shame. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, I, wait, what? 
No, I accidentally picked up double of something. I accidentally picked up two of these. Man, it's not even that good of an item, so I don't feel too bad about it, but... I don't know how I managed that. I guess I clicked it twice. Well, challenge failed, everybody. See you later! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I would never. I would never give up this easily. Maybe we'll skip an item so that it does it. Oh yeah, you know what? Fine, we'll skip the uh, rusted key since it doesn't actually do anything while it's in your inventory and it depletes after you use it, so it's not really the same. I'm gonna turn this into a Trophy Hunter's Tricorn, but we're not gonna use it right now. I sure cat meow. <laughs> I don't know what that's from. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, the shun starts blazing. I'm terrified. My britches shitted. Yeah, it just gave me another pearl, so... Hey, I mean, I guess we are doing every item, because now we have the Iradian Pearl and the Pearl. The Iradian Pearl being literally, like, the rarest item in the game, in the base game. Because you, you... Not only do you have to find a cleansing pool, which is only on, like, two maps. Only spawns on, like, two maps. You have to get, like, the 5% chance to not get a Pearl and get an Iradian Pearl. On that map, so... It's quite rare to get that item. And what it does is it upgrades all of your skills, or all of your items, by, uh, by 20%. Very nice. I don't know what that noise is, but it's stressing me out. I just grabbed an item twice because I saw the zero is. I don't know what that buzzing noise is, but it's messing me. <laughs> Scaring me. Ooh, hello. Elite ethics? Hell yeah. We're not grabbing the Covenant Gold because I do want to actually be able to use my eyes today. Um, maybe I'll show it off camera if I find it again, but, uh, oh my god, oh my god, it's so bad. It's, it's good to see, it's like, it's a good item, but I can't fucking see anything when I use it. There we go, two free boss items, let me just kill the last guy, dude. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Two free boss items, hell yeah. We are almost done getting boss items, and we'll be able to get free legendaries on the level 4 stages. Who's excited? No one? Man. 